Hello, welcome to the Math 135 video about the vertical line test. The intensity for this video is mild. My name is Professor Michael Polyuk. By the end of this video, you should be able to check if a point xy is on a curve, and you should be able to check if a given curve is a function using the vertical line test. We'll start with the definition. A curve is a collection of all xy points that satisfy a given equation in the variables xy. For example, consider this curve x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 1. Now it's not clear what this looks like, but we can tell if some points are on it or not by checking whether they satisfy the equation. For example, we know that 1, 0 is on the curve because we can plug it in and see that the equation balances. However, if we take a different point, like 0, 0, it's not on the curve since it doesn't satisfy the equation. Doing this, you can check whether, whether any point is on the curve or not. You can then take that and sketch the curve. Now we get to the definition of a function. A function is a curve that satisfies the vertical line test. And what's the vertical line test? It means that every vertical line intersects the graph of this function in at most one place. You may have seen this in high school before. So if a function passes the vertical line test, every vertical line intersects it in at most one place. So what does it mean to fail the vertical line test? Well, if it fails, it means that there is a vertical line that intersects the curve in two or more places. Let's look at some examples. The curve y equals x squared is a function. No matter what vertical line you take, it will only cut the curve in one place. If you take the related curve x equals y squared, this is not a function. And we can see that by taking most lines here, they'll cut through the function or cut through the curve in two places. So to show that it's not a function, we only need to find one line that cuts it into two places. So for example, the line x equals four that goes right here would be sufficient. It will intersect the curve at y equals minus two and y equals two. Another example is the circle C, which is all x, y, where x squared plus y squared equals one. So this is the circle of radius one centered at the origin. It is not a function. Can you see why? Well, to show that it's not a function, we need a vertical line that intersects it in two places. And wouldn't you know it's already on the picture? We can use this line, the y-axis. So the line x equals zero intersects the circle at y equals minus one and y equals one. In fact, there's lots of different vertical lines that will also work, but this one's the easiest for uh, the numbers numerically. Here are some other exercises for you to work on to see if you can uh, understand the concepts. Show that the hyperbolic curve x squared minus y squared equals one is not a function. It's not really important that it's a hyperbola. Uh, you can solve this purely algebraically. Is y equals absolute value of x a function? Y. Is absolute value of y equals x a function? y. Is y equals plus or minus square root of x a function? y. And finally, a test level question that could appear on a test. Is x, y equals 1 a function? y or why not? Let's take some time to reflect. What objects do you need to produce to show that a curve is not a function? If a curve has 10 vertical lines that only intersect it in one place each, is this enough to see that the curve is a function? Thank you very much and have a great day.